right outside of downtown Tulsa, Oklahoma. The strip of nearly 35 square blocks once housed one of America's wealthiest black communities. Greenwood Avenue is like the Rodale Drive of Beverly Hills. It's like the Beale Street of Memphis, the Auburn Avenue of Atlanta, the Wall Street of New York City. It was a major thoroughfare where everybody wanted to be. Black Wall Street, as it was affectionately called, had it all. A hospital, hotels, restaurants, movie theaters, and churches, including Vernon Chapel AME, the congregation Reverend Robert Turner now pastors. This church, you know, has been here as landowners since 1908, and we bought this land and we built our first building here. But in May of 1921, that building was nearly vaporized. White citizens armed by city officials descended on Greenwood. For 18 hours, they looted and destroyed the community. The bloodbath reduced the thriving district to ashes. Vernon Chapel AME was the only structure left standing. I still see black men seeing being shot, black bodies lying in the street. I still smell smoke and see fire. I still see black businesses being burned. 107 year old Viola Fletcher recounted the events on Capitol Hill earlier this month. Leslie Randall, who's 106, joined virtually. I survived a 1921 Tulsa race massacre, and I have survived 100 years of painful memories and losses. Officials estimate up to 300 people were murdered in the massacre. The bulk of them buried in mass graves. Only recently, an excavation project launched to find those bodies, identify them, and perform a proper burial. And then pending the awful weather we're seeing here tonight, there is a candlelight vigil scheduled. And then tomorrow, the full excavation project begins. And then, Adrian, on top of that, President Biden is also scheduled to be in town to commemorate this somber centennial.